Now, reports of extreme weather conditions are coming in from across the world and next in line is Mexico, which is bracing up for a powerful hurricane. And what is interesting is that this hurricane has been called Hillary. Now, Hurricane Hillary is expected to cause widespread flooding in Mexico's Baja California area and also in the neighboring U.S. state of California. The National Hurricane Center has issued its first ever tropical storm warning for Southern California, including downtown Los Angeles. The warning, in effect, has indicated that the tropical storm conditions were possible within the coverage area over the next 36 hours. Now, the area stretched from the California-Mexico border to Point Mugu, that is about 40 miles south of Santa Monica by road, and includes the Catalina Island. The residents have been warned to prepare early for the approach of the hurricane. Our department's personnel are also working with homeless outreach partners from the Los Angeles Homeless Services Authority and Union Station to deploy personnel in the riverbeds to contact our unhoused population, our unhoused community, and connect them with interim housing resources. These efforts began this morning and will continue through Sunday evening. Now, Hillary had sustained wind speeds of over 130 miles per hour. Tropical cyclones that have sustained wind speeds of 39 miles per hour earn a name. And once winds reach 74 miles per hour, a storm becomes a hurricane. And at 111 miles per hour, it becomes a major hurricane. A number of events in the Los Angeles area this weekend have been rescheduled because of the approaching storm. Hillary is in fact expected to weaken but remain a hurricane as it approaches the west coast of the Baja California Peninsula. It will then most likely become a tropical storm before reaching Southern California. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.